Sissio, who's playing, uh, this looks like the Miracle deck. Ooh, and, uh, exciting. Wow, very cool. Entreat the Angels, Terminus, Thopter Foundry, uh, Engineer Explosives, Top, Counterbalance, Force of Will, Spell Pierce, Enlightened Tutor. Zero creatures. Zero creatures. Oh, yeah. Just hoping for a miracle. <laughs> yep. That's so you got Andrew on your left with Sneak and Show, Joshua on your right with the Miracle deck. It's the Blue White Miracles. Blue White Miracle deck. And I'm not too familiar with Andrew Cavanaugh, but I know Josh Sissio is a local player. He's from the Worcester area. Oh. It's always nice to see the local boys in the booth. Yeah, trying to take it home for the um, for the home team here. For those of you wondering, in Andrew's deck, he's got Gristlebrand and Imrakul as his uh, sneak and show stuff main. He's also got a Progenitus in the sideboard. Um, he's got four Progenitus in the sideboard, excuse me. Um, he's got pretty much a standard sneak and show list. Uh, he's got Through the Breach in his sideboard, uh, along with a Vendelian click, which is kind of cool. And uh, Echoing Truth and Wipe Away and Relic of Progenitus and Submerge. So, yeah. looking towards the sideboards, uh, I'm not sure what these players are gonna be siding in here. It looks like uh, definitely the Vendillion Click, probably the Wipe Away, maybe maybe Echoing Truth. It's a good answer to entreat the angels, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, and Joshua has Mold to six for a game. Three? Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure which player is on the play. Since we are in game three, maybe we can find that out. Yeah, I'm not sure, but it looks like Andrew is keeping his seven. Now, Josh Sissio for the post-sideboard games, he'll have the last counterbalance, <laughs> meddling mage, uh, humility. That's Ooh. a big game. Yeah. Andrew Kavanaugh, I'm a little worried about him. He only has three bounce spells between his 75, so... Josh has a lot of really problematic cards. So it looks like Andrew was on the play. He led with a Volcanic Island. Uh, Joshua led with a Marsh Flats. They're just going land draw go, or draw land go, excuse me. Got hmm. that backwards. So Josh adds an underground. Sexy black bordered underground, I might add. Right. Andrew's gonna brainstorm. Look, I think I saw that Vendelian click. And he puts two back. And untaps. Ooh, draws him. Draws one must of them Must have been anyway. good. Yeah, it must have been very good. And he's not going to draw the third one he put down. He is shuffling that, that third card away. Yep, and... You know, some games of Legacy, you have tons of decisions in the first few turns. This game, it's just been players building up their mana bases, getting ready to go off, or, in Josh's case, trying to defend against it. So it looks like Joshua had... I saw a counterbalance in his hand while he was flipping him through. Uh, can't quite see what else he's got. He's holding it in pretty tightly. I think that's a Enlightened Tutor... And I think there was a brainstorm in there. Mm -hmm. So Magic Power Nine tweets in that Ad, uh, that Andrew Cavanaugh is from Somerville, New Jersey. He plays with AJ Kerrigan, James Higginbottom, Joe Manor. Uh, thanks for that info. So not a local player. Right. Andrew's gonna brainstorm again. And he draws four Scalding Tarn, and I think that was a show and tell. Yeah, I think so too. So Andrew trying to assemble his pieces here. To go off. And, and I'm, I'm wondering who's going to try and go off first here, Andrew or Josh? Oh. Hmm. I think, I think Josh will probably just be content to build up his mana base, maybe yeah. try and resolve a counterbalance, something like that. I think Andrew might try to go for it. I don't know if he's got a good threat in his hand, but I haven't really been able to see what he's got. Honestly, I think for Andrew, he wants to go off as soon as, soon as possible. Yeah. He has a little time to build up his lands, maybe build up a few counter spells for backup, but um, he can't give Josh all the time in the world, or he's going to be finding himself on the wrong end of some really annoying enchantments. Right. 
right, and brainstorm for Andrew, or excuse me, for Josh. Puts a couple back. Untaps. And trying to decide whether or not to use the fetch. He is yep. gonna. gonna. Shuffle those two away. I didn't see what he put back. And if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Zach Hall, joined by Callie Anderson, and we're coming to you live from Star City Games Open in Worcester. Deep in round seven right now, watching game three of Andrew Kavanaugh on your left, playing Josh Sissio on your right. Looks like Josh has the counterbalance Sensei's Divining Top in his hand. Yeah. Ooh, this is a drop phase Vendillion click. Vendillion click. One of an Andrew Kavanaugh's deck, one in the sideboard. Just a little extra disruption for him. Hmm. And Joshua, I think he's... I don't think that was a force, so... Here Top we go. sword, tutor. Seal of Cleansing and Counterbalance. Two flooded strands. Yep. And if you're unfamiliar with Seal of Cleansing, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be, it's a two mana disenchant, but it's an enchantment. So you can sack it at any time to kill an artifact or enchantment. Seal of Disenchant. Yeah. <laughs> the only one that still sees even a little bit of play. Andrew's trying to decide what to take. <laughs> Both the counterbalance and the top, pretty annoying. And what did he decide? I think did, he oh, chose, uh, yeah, I think he left it as it is. Okay, so if, if I'm Josh Sissio, I'm figuring that that means that my opponent doesn't want me to see a counter spell, and I'm just going to try and resolve both my lock pieces now. He plays the top. Um, Andrew thinks. Yeah, pretty interesting that Andrew left it the way it was. Normally, I'm really scared of counterbalance top. Yeah. Well, you know, he might have just been been looking to see if Josh had, you know, the force of will right. or any other sort of counter spell, so he can land his uh, show and tell. I believe that's an ancient tomb for Andrew. So Josh wants to keep mana open here, did not play the counterbalance. A lot of that's probably because uh, he doesn't have many three or four drops in his deck, and it's pretty tough to counter a show and tell when you have three three drops. Yes. <laughs> and here comes a show and tell. And Josh doesn't have much choice but to let that resolve here. I imagine he'll be putting his counterbalance <laughs> into play. Yeah. And Andrew will be putting in a mystery card. Most likely a gristle brand. Perhaps a lotus petal. <laughs> a strong play. Yeah. So, so Joshua Lighten Tutor in response. Andrew instantly force of wills. Moving a misdirection, I believe. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> not the show and tell, not the Vendelian click, but the forcible. That goes to the graveyard. Josh tops in response, then not finding what he's looking for, a, probably a force of will. Yes. I Go imagine. Searching. Gets a tundra, and Josh, shame on you for not having another black border tundra. Oh, What's wow. going on, buddy? Jeez. <laughs> nah, those are like a dime a dozen. I know. <laughs> So Josh will top again, looking for that force. Is it there? Hmm. No, no, I think that's three land. <laughs> Josh? Yep. Josh is trying to decide between counterbalance and seal of cleansing. Alright, and let's see him. There's Gristlebrand and there's counterbalance. Yeah. 
Now, Josh doesn't have any Caracas in his deck, but he does have a few ways to get rid of that. Swords to Plowshares probably would meet a Counterspell. Yep. Face the Mind Sculpt probably would meet a Counterspell. Really, there's not a heck of a lot he can do here. <laughs> Especially if Andrew is drawing seven cards. Right. Ouch. Ooh, Crystal Prince, so good. Cool. Spell Pierce. Oof. Yep. That does not look good for uh, Josh Cicio. I don't you know, want to be too, too, too uh, ahead of myself, <laughs> but I think that might be game. Yeah, Josh Cicio holding only a Seal of Cleansing and a uh, Sword of the Meek. And either one really going to do it here facing off against Gristlebrand. I guess he needs a Terminus? Two Terminus? Three Terminus? <laughs> <laughs> Two Terminus and Andrew to draw nothing. Right, absolutely <laughs> nothing. Not very likely. Mono lands. Fetches up an island. And he's going to spin that top again. Desperately search for a way to deal with that Gristle Branch. Sensei, help me. <laughs> And there you see a nice full screen view. He's got the Force of Will and a Meddling Mage, and I did not catch that last card. Mm. Maybe, uh. Huh, I have no idea what that is. Is it a counterspell, maybe? Oh, it might be an alternate art counterspell. Oh, Blue Elemental yeah. Blast. Oh, okay. I'm just so used to seeing that card in the white border. <laughs> Either Josh way. is thinking. I will try and get that info back for you as soon as possible. Josh Sissio is two attack phases away from dead, though. There you see it. Andrew untaps. Untapping with Gristle Brand is a oh, pretty good feeling. I know. Now he can hard cast a Force of Will, alternate cast a pair of Force of Wills. Oh. And Josh Sissio needs a miracle, but not the kind he has in his deck. <sighs> Andrew Kavanaugh taking his time here. He doesn't want to mess this up. Yeah, I mean, most definitely when you're in round seven, uh, and these players are probably either you know undefeated or they only have one loss. Right. And I mean, you got to make sure every play is on point. So Andrew considers his options. It's like he's got a just he's just got a grip. <laughs> well, there's a lotus puddle. He should have put that into play. Oh no. Oh rats. <laughs> We're gonna have to talk to him after this match. <laughs> Tell me error of his ways here. Yeah, this is looking like a sneak attack, maybe. <laughs> Joshua looks at his hand. <laughs> Uh-oh. And there's a sneak attack. Top. Josh will attempt to force a will this, or rather spell pierce this. Blue Elemental Blast, even. Yes. But it's not going to work. No. And you're just like... Josh pretty much knows this. Well, one thing, Andrew cannot draw seven cards with Gristlebrand because he does not have seven life. Right. So he's got to have it in his hand. He can't go fishing for more. Even if this works, though, he's still going to attack for a lot of life yes. and gain seven there. Yep. So that resolves. <laughs> and tax for ten... Seven of it lifelinking. Joshua at 14. Looks like he's gone down. He's going down to four. Andrew plays the Lotus Petal. And Josh has one more turn here. Trying to find a way to deal with his opponent's Brand. 
And you know, there, there hasn't really been a creature in Legacy like this before, where no. you cheat it into play, and the game is just immediately over yes. for all intents and purposes. Even Emrakul requires one turn. Yeah. I mean, you can, you know, do fun things and give them haste with, you know... Sneak, sneak attack, a, sneak or, attack or lightning greaves, maybe. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you can't... Maelstrom Wander. Maelstrom Wander. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. That guy's awesome. They got some cool big players. That's the time to round. Please proceed to the five turns. Andrew looking for more lotus petals, I think. Yep. Oh, it makes a land drop. And just a stack full of cards. Yep, two Force of Wills I saw. <laughs> now, if I'm Andrew, I'd probably just put my Force of Wills face up and yeah, say go. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to put these in. Uh, they just called time of the round. However, this match has a four-minute extension uh, yep. due to being moved under the camera um, for a game three. So they still got four minutes, however, I'm pretty sure Andrew can take this down in four minutes. Yep, I think he's going to need one more turn. All right. <laughs> I'll discard these, he says. Oh, look, more and force of in my back. <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yep. <laughs> Joshua untaps, straws the top. Up the end of play. And you know, most people's complaints about Gristlebrand are that it's pretty unfair. I just got a message uh, from my roommate who has um, more of a casual player, and his complaint is that he can't use Grozoff to go find Gristlebrand. <laughs> uh, a little different of a complaint. <laughs> Still pretty relevant though. <laughs> I remember back when. Uh... I remember back in uh, when Dragonstorm was a big thing, you used Grozoth to find Dragonstorm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Grozoth is no joke. It's a nine mana tutor. <laughs> All right. Josh tops. And looks like it's not, not, probably not what he wants. No. And you know, even if it was, Andrew has those two Force of Wills at a healthy five life. <laughs> I bet Josh is really wishing he had splashed red for th thunderous wrath. Oh boy. <laughs> five life? Get you. Dang. <laughs> no thunderous wrath here. Nope. Josh Sissio needs sort of split second card, <laughs> of which of course he is not playing any. Nope. If he could somehow assemble his Doctor Foundry combo, yeah. <laughs> that, there it is. There it is. There's the force. And Josh Sissio loses to Andrew Kavanaugh, one game to two. Andrew Kavanaugh moves on, closer and closer to top eight here. 